Okay. <laughs> so, this one we have seen that P f is equal to uh, P b plus P r all the derivations you just we have seen right that your P f minus P b is equal to actually P r. So, P f is equal to P b plus P r this we have seen this is actually line termination is resistance these are the different condition. Now, second is that when line is terminate your line termination your in impedance. So, in the general case of a line of characteristic impedance Z c terminated in an impedance Z then we can write I is equal to 2 upon Z plus Z c V a because when line was uh, your this thing we have derived when what was terminating in the resistance that it was I is equal to 2 upon R plus Z c V f and here your V is equal to 2 R upon R plus Z c into V f. So, instead of R you replace R by Z because line termination in impedance. So, you assume that impedance is Z. So, this equation directly you can write one is equation 48 and this one equation 49 right. So, this one you directly you will get from equation 48 in equation 48 you replace R by Z then I is equal to 2 upon Z plus Z C into V f this is equation 57. Similarly, in equation 49 when line termination in uh, resistance R it was 2 R upon R plus Z C, but in this case it is terminated in an impedance Z therefore, V is equal to replace R by Z it will be 2 Z upon Z plus Z your Z C into V f or V is equal to you can define tau into V f where tau is called the refraction coefficient or transmission factor or simply coefficient tau right. What we will do throughout this uh, chapter we will use tau all the time as refraction, refraction coefficient right. Thus for voltage wave tau this thing tau is equal to 2 z upon z plus z c. So, in that case we can write that the from this equation if j, j if z is equal to 0 then tau will be 0 right. So, and if z is and uh, your um, theoretically that means, theoretically this value actually will vary from your in between 0 and 2 depending on the relative values of z and z c right. Or alternatively this equation, this equation we can write V f is equal to z plus z c upon 2 z into V. So, V f is equal to z plus z c upon 2 z into V. Now, this V is equal to you have got 2 z upon z plus z c. Similarly, this I also you replace you uh, you know that uh, V relationship between your uh, V f and I f right. So, in the case of V f, V f is equal to I f into z c. So, if you substitute I f into z c, so I will become 2 into z c upon z plus z c. So, that term for the it is for it is the refraction coefficient tau when 2 z upon z c for the voltage. I am making it for you just uh, just uh, just uh, hold on I will I will make it for you. For example, this I is equal to your uh, equation from it is equation 57 right I equal to your 2 upon z plus z c into V f right, but you know V f is equal to I f into z c therefore, I is equal to 2 into z c upon z plus z c into your I f right. Here we have made V is equal to 2 z upon z plus z c V f here we have made I is equal to 2 z c upon z plus z c this term this one we have taken for voltage refraction coefficient for voltage actually and this term we can say we can make tau i is equal to 2 into z c upon z plus z c right. That means, for the current refraction factor is your what you call tau i if voltage it is 2 z upon z plus z c and for your uh, your uh, current uh, refraction factor will be 2 z c upon z it is not shown here, but I think it is understandable to you right. So, this thing. So, 2 i tau i is equal to 2 z c upon z plus z c. If you add this two tau plus tau i if you try to add this one 
it will become 2 right if you add tau plus tau i that is your 2 z upon z plus z c plus 2 z c upon z plus z c that is actually is equal to 2 z plus z c divided by z plus z c. So, this one will be cancel and this is equal to tau plus tau i is equal to 2. Tau is the for voltage I did not write it is tau v I have simply written tau it is for voltage diffraction coefficient for the voltage right. So, tau plus tau i will be 2. So, that means this your what you call uh, this uh, tau actually varies between 0 and 2 that is for each case tau i also varies in between 0 and 2 and theoretically similarly tau for the your what you call uh, for the voltage diffraction coefficient also varies in between 0 and 2 depending on the relative values of z and z c right. Similarly, this v b v b is equal to z minus z c upon z plus z c into v a because just hold on just hold on we have seen that your uh, for when when it was uh, your resistive circuit right resistive uh, this one when line termination in the resistance we have seen vb is equal to r minus zc by r plus zc this is equation 51 right so from 50 in frequency and in this case line is terminated in impedance z so in this case you replace r by z therefore your vb will be z minus zc divided by z plus zc it is already these equations are derived only you have to what you have to do is you have to replace r by z that is all right. Therefore, this v b that is your your uh, reflected voltage or your backward backward wave right that z minus z c upon z plus z c into v f this is equation 62 or we can make v b is equal to rho into v f. So, this is equation 63 rho is the reflection coefficient or sometimes we call reflection factor right reflection coefficient therefore, for voltage wave uh, rho is equal to z minus z c upon z plus z c right rho can be positive or negative it depend on whether z is greater than z c or less than z c this is equation your 64 right of course rho can be positive or negative depending on the relative values of z and z c right this one this one for example when the line is terminated with its characteristic impedance say z is equal to z c if if z is equal to z c then rho is 0 then your rho will be 0 so there will be so rho is 0 means there will be no reflection voltage so v b is equal to 0 then if rho is equal to 0 right so thus your v b is equal to 0 and i b is equal to v b by your what you call that uh, z c. So, as rho v b is 0 therefore, i b also will be 0. So, in other words the line act as it is infinite long line right. So, in that case you have to imagine the line is actually infinite long. So, when the line is terminated in an impedance that is larger than its characteristic impedance I mean if z greater than z c right if z greater than z c then rho is positive rho is positive that means v b is positive and i b is uh, i b will be your negative this is called this is your uh, common phenomena right if if it is if it is if rho is become z minus z c upon z plus z c you will take when you will try to find out that v b is positive then all uh, then your what you call that your uh, replay or current that one will be your what you call that your, your negative that v b is positive then i b is negative and opposite if v b is negative i b will be positive this all this relationship actually we have seen previously just go through those equations. Therefore, the reflected surge consists of increased voltage and reduced current right and if you if you if you see the figure if you look into this figure right look this is your diagram this is the voltage v f this is the voltage v f now this is your z c and line is terminated impedance z right this is up, uh, up to this this is before uh, before arrival at termination 
So, generally we are considering a step function V f and I f right R and <laughs> resistance and conductance is neglected and this wave is moving from left to right this is V f this is sending and voltage and this is I f the current. Now, this is before arrival uh, when it is arriving when, when on, 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 on arrival at termination right in that case what will happen that V b is uh, your what you call backward wave is positive and it will move to this way now it is right to left it will move. So, that is why when it is right to left it is moving V is equal to V b V a plus V b that means it is increasing right because on arrival at termination the back reflected voltage V b or, or backward wave this is this is positive that means whatever V f was there then V b is uh, this much. So, if you V a plus V b so, V is equal to V a plus V b it is moving from right to left now right and for the current for the current on arrival at termination that I v is negative. If I v is negative that means, if you if you just add this to this one and this one ultimately it will go down. So, that this is your I is equal to now I f minus I v right because as I v is negative direct if you take direct negative value then I f plus I v when we are taking I is equal to I f minus I v means this magnitude has been taken positive in this equation. Otherwise, you can write I f plus I v, but I v is negative, but for your understanding here it is given I is equal to I f minus I v. So, this I v will be subtracted from this. So, this is the current wave now it has decreased magnitude it is moving from right to left right. So, this is volt. So, this is before arrival at termination on arrival at termination this is a reflected wave magnitude V b and this is a reflected current wave right and finally, after arrival at termination I mean when it is moving from right to left it is V is equal to V f plus V b and I is equal to I f minus I v. So, this is hopefully understandable to you right. That means, this is actually that uh, that uh, through that from figure 4 we have seen that charge consists of increased voltage and reduced current as shown in figure 4 I shown you the figure 4. Now, on the other hand when line is terminated in an impedance that is smaller than its characteristic impedance when z greater than z c. If z greater than z c then V b is negative from the same equation and I v will become positive just opposite. Thus, the reflected surges consist of a reduced voltage and increased current as shown in figure 5. Now, when z greater your z less than z c I mean this one when z less than z c that means, rho is negative this is negative that means, V b will be negative and I b will be positive. So, this is the this is the diagram that it is z c and z again now the, this this condition is when z less than z c when less than z c right. So, before arrival this is same as before now when it is when on arrival at termination V b will be negative. So, this is V b right and current will be positive. So, this is I b if one is negative another will be automatically positive if V b is negative current is positive if V b is positive then current is negative right. So, on arrival at the termination so, this is your voltage wave it is moving from this was moving from left to right distance is increasing right. So, for an, arri an arrival at terminal this one now this V b will be now reflected back at the arrival of terminal this is V f and this is I f, but now V b is negative I b. So, when it is moving to the your right to left I mean from this side to this side when it is moving then V will be V f minus V b here V b is negative but this magnitude for your understanding it is V f minus V b means this V b will take plus here such that V b my V f minus V b. So, this this magnitude this one is getting reduced. So, voltage magnitude will reduce, but current that I b is positive. So, here it is moving now from right to left I mean this direction this direction right to left. So, it is showing here. So, current will be added. So, I should be is equal to I a plus I b I b positive. So, this way that your after arrival at termination your, your what you call at termination that means, it is reflected. So, this is actually it is been figure 5 that is why analysis of traveling waves when z less than z c. A is the circuit diagram same as before and B is the voltage and current uh, distributions right. Hope this will be understandable there should not be any confusion right. Next one is now 
similarly does the reflect this one we have seen in figure 5. Now, if Z s and Z r are defined as the sending end and receiving end thymine equivalent impedance. Suppose, if you define Z s is the sending end side and Z r is the receiving end side thymine equivalent impedance right. I think uh, power and power system analysis course uh, regarding this thymine equivalent those who have uh, taken this course or seen that uh, lecture this equivalent thymine how to one to get in a power system I explain there in detail right. So, here not putting it again right, but thymine equivalent impedance how to obtain details I think I explained there. So, if Z s and Z r are defined as the sending and receiving and thymine equivalent impedances respectively the sending and reflection coefficient is in that case it will be rho s will be Z s minus Z c upon Z plus Z c using the same formula using the same formula equation 64 you replace Z by Z s one case and receiving and side replace Z by Z r right. So, Z minus Z c upon Z plus Z c right. So, that rho s the sending and reflection coefficient will be then rho s will be rho Z s minus Z c divided by Z s plus Z c this is equation 65. Similarly, at the receiving end the re reflection is your uh, it will be receiving end impedance is Z r here it is Z r therefore, rho r will be Z r minus Z c upon Z r plus Z c this is equation 66 right. So, this is understandable I believe this is understandable not not much difficult one only understanding is required. Now, note that so wave travelling back toward the sending end will result in an result in new reflection as determined by the reflection coefficient at the sending end rho s just now we have seen this one uh, this one rho s we have seen this one right. Furthermore, note that the reflection coefficient current is always the negative of the reflection coefficient for voltage right. So, in the this thing this is this is this is always we have seen that your whenever you will take that your reflection coefficient for the current is always negative of the reflection coefficient for voltage. The previously when we are doing this just uh, you try yourself you will find it will be just negative of this I mean that that is why if voltage is positive current is negative if voltage is negative current is positive. Now, take a small example, small example is that consider equation 60 and 62 and verify that I b is equal to rho I f and tau is equal to rho plus 1. So, I have to go to equation 60 and 62 just hold on right uh, this one this is your equation just hold on this is your equation uh, your uh, 60 and 62 this is equation 62 and just hold on 61 uh, this is 61 this is 60 oh, and 62 this is equation 60 this is equation 60 tau is equal to 2 z upon z plus z c this is equation 60 and this is equation 62 right. So, you have to prove that I b is equal to rho i f and tau is equal to rho plus 1 that is the voltage your uh, reflection uh, coefficient right. I did not write tau v suffix, but tau is equal to rho plus 1. So, since we know I f is equal to v f upon z c and we know I b is equal to minus v b upon z c this we know right. Therefore, therefore, v f is equal to we know z c into i f this is your V f is equal to Z c into I f and V b is equal to minus Z c into I b right. Therefore, substituting them into equation 62 that means, in equation 62 you just substitute right this is your uh, where equation 62 just let me see uh, actually so many slides are there, but anyway directly we can write here here, here it is 62 this equation you substitute there equation sub 62. So, if you substitute then you will find minus Z c into I b is equal to rho into Z c into I f right. Therefore, you will get I b is equal to minus rho into I f right. That means, if rho is positive then I b is your what you call that uh, negative right and if rho is negative then I b is positive just vice versa that voltage and current. 
since rho is equal to z minus z c upon z plus z c we know this then both side you add 1. So, rho plus 1 is equal to z minus z c upon z plus z c plus 1 is equal to you can write 2 z upon z plus z c, but we know 2 z upon z plus z c is equal to tau hence tau is equal to rho plus 1 equation 68. So, this is proved right that tau is equal to and i v is equal to your minus rho i f here uh, here verify that i v is equal to minus 1 minus sign I think I have missed it should be minus right it should be minus. So, that is your what you call that uh, i b is equal to mass. So, this this thing are very simple these things are very simple right. So, next is your what you call an example take an example example this is example 4. Suppose a line has a characteristic impedance of 400 ohm and a resistance of 500 ohm right is z c is 400 and r is 400 right. The, so, assume that the magnitudes of forward traveling uh, voltage and current waves are 5000 volt and 12.5 ampere respectively. Determine the following 1 reflection coefficient of voltage wave, reflection coefficient of current wave, backward traveling uh, voltage wave, voltage at end of the line refraction coefficient of voltage wave, backward traveling current wave, current flowing through resistor and refraction coefficient of current wave right. So, these 8 quantities you have to obtain from the given data, these are very simple one right very simple one. So, first one I will just see, I will write go ahead, but this, is, this is basically when line is terminated at resistance R. So, we know example the first one we know rho is equal to r minus z c upon r plus z c. It is given r is equal to 500 ohm and z c is equal to 400 ohm. So, 500 minus 400 by 500 plus 400 is equal to 0 0.1111 right and therefore, in b it, is, it will be minus i in b it has been asked that you find out reflection coefficient of the current wave. So, reflex just now we have seen in general that if rho is uh, for voltage if it is positive current it will be negative. So, it will be minus r minus z c upon r plus z c. So, minus of same thing 500 minus 400 by 500 plus 400 is equal to minus 0 0.1111 we have taken up to 4 decimal place. We know V b is equal to rho into V f this also we know. So, V f is equal to 5000 volt because it is given the forward traveling wave voltage and V f is equal to 5000 volt and I f is equal to 12.5 ampere this is given right. Therefore, V b is equal to rho into V f. So, it is 0.1111 into 5000 that is 555 0.555 volt up to 3 decimal place it is taken. Now, V is equal to then V f plus V b. So, it will be you 5000 plus 555 5.555. So, it will become 5555.555 volt that is that means your that V b is positive. So, when it is reflecting back the voltage is increasing right or V is equal to I mean for this thing if you make the cross check V is equal to 2 r upon r plus z c into V f this is equation 49. Same thing here we got directly by multiplying rho, but another equation is there equation 49 that also you can write V is equal to 2 r upon r plus z, in z c into V f that is actually 2 into r is equal to 500 divided by 500 plus 400 into V f, V f is this voltage this 5000 volt right into 5000. So, 555.555 volt same thing same thing right this one also you can use. Now, tau is equal to you have to find out the reflection coefficient for the voltage if you see tau is equal to 2 r by r plus z c right. So, in that case uh, your uh, 2 r upon r plus z c that is your 2 into 500 divided by 500 plus so that is 1.11 point one 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 right. Just hold on just find out that equation just one minute right. Mm. That tau is that your 
this thing the refraction coefficient because it is it is something like a light right some reflection will be there some refraction will be there so tau is the refraction coefficient so but uh, but uh, philosophy here it is different so tau this is this equation is coming actually here we are writing 2z upon z plus z60 but previously that you z here the line is terminated by resistance r it will be 2r upon r plus zc so this one actually refraction refraction coefficient tau is equal to 2r upon r plus zc so it is 2 into 500 r is 500 by 500 plus 400 that is 1.1111 up to 4 decimal place i have taken the refraction coefficient and ib is equal to your minus your uh, vb upon zc right so vb we have got this uh, 5555.555 so substitute here no vb backward voltage sorry vb we got 555 five, uh, 555.5 this is vb right therefore ib is equal to minus 555.555 on 400 so minus 1.3889 ampere or other way you can do it ib is equal to minus rho into if and rho rho you have got 0.1111 the minus 0.1 into 12.5 because if is given 12.5 ampere this is if so if you do so you will also get minus 1.3889 ampere i mean the way you want you can do it right so tau is the refraction refraction factor just hold on right that means your anyway later we will see that refracted volt later we will see so that means uh, uh, all the quantities straight forward you can you can get it this one actually this one tau actually this is your refraction coefficient right such that when we will listen to this there will be no problem refraction coefficient so that means an i is equal to your v by r right so that that means that last one it has been asked that is uh, so g g that it has been asked that current flowing through resistor that uh, what is the current flowing through resistor this is g part right and refraction coefficient of current wave so i is equal to actually v upon r v you have got 5555.555 right when uh, this thing and uh, r is equal to 500 so 11.1111 ampere and for the current tau is equal to 2 z c upon r plus z c so 2 into 400 z c is 400 divided by 500 plus 400 is equal to 0 0.8889 so that means this is this one uh, it is 1.111 refraction coefficient this is for voltage this is for voltage right and this refraction coefficient this is refraction coefficient this is refraction coefficient for current right this is for current now I, I showed you know I showed you that tau plus tau i it has to be 2 it has to be 2 so if you see there that here this is for voltage it is 1.1111 plus this is for current 0.8889 so it will basically it will become 2 if you add this right it will become 2 so that is why that this is your tau is equal to there is a refraction coefficient for the current so total should be uh, your what you call the two so that means refracted if you take that uh, for that uh, this thing this uh, refracted your uh, refraction coefficient for voltage not shown here the diagram or computer right it is increasing whereas the current in the case it is decreasing if one decrease another will increase if one become reflected also if one become negative another will become positive and the refracted case if voltage increase current decrease if current increase voltage decrease because that condition should hold good that refraction coefficient for voltage plus refraction coefficient for current must be equal to 2 thank you we will be back again